the Big Bang Theory. Which once proved that we are all a cause of that action. The Big Bang Theory says that and there was a big explosion and time and space came to exist. From there, Mother Earth is born and all the other planets are born. The funniest question which I do like to ask is that what was before? What was before the Big Bang formed at, because of the reason of the Big Bang? What was all these things before? It is not that difficult to understand. Here lies the truth. I do like to explain about the Big Bang Theory as well as the sophisticated and most confused communication process in between all these planets and all these galaxies. I do like to explain in detail. There is, there is many, many things which has been told before which cannot be proved through scientific factors. Why? Everything which science deals with is a product of this world. This world, metals and minerals or whatever it is, has got its own limitations. It is only applicable to understand what is happening with this solid or this matters, the matters which is there in this world. Everything else is in a different dimension. As we told that about the Nobel Prize winners, the anti-material anti -material concept. The anti-material concept is in a different dimension. There is no way to understand what is happening in this whole galaxy with the whole big antennas which has been focused towards the bright sky. Why? Because we are using electricity or electrical impulse which has been produced in this particular world. It has got its own limitations. And the communication which is done by this extraterrestrial oceans received and sent by this extraterrestrial or the UFOs are in a different dimension. They are using a different forms of energy. They are using a technology which is so high and so fast that human being cannot even think about. It can be done, but I'm sure it can be done and it has been done. by our mind. The mind has got the capacity to switch from different dimensions, different time scales and travel in a very high speed to a particular point and analyze and receive back information and which has been processed by a brain and we see that these things are true. This is how I have got these information about our Mother Earth and all these invisible, mysterious activities which is going deep inside the Earth. Our Mother Earth, as we told before, 
is getting lots of information and vital energy levels or the life force it is struggling to get it from outside it is keeping it impact intact inside her core just like a mother keeping a child very closer to her heart she is giving you love she is giving you happiness she is providing you everything whatever you want it is being transmitted through different various it has been transmitted or it has been sent to you through a different form of energies which cannot be assessed or which cannot be analyzed by human being with the instruments which is there in this world she is always next to you she is always carrying you she is there next to you with all her hands stretch forward to take care of you to hug you but you not at all knowing your mother it's a pity when you start knowing all these things you become a human being then you become a godly man or a godly creature thing accept human being give away love to the next creature or the next living being when you see a tree it is not taking anything from anybody it is doing its duty it is absorbing this anti material things or the life force from the earth for whom for you or the living beings all other living beings are not taking away anything from you or not not taking and storing all these things which you, which is easily available over there and keeping it in her or his place saying that this is mine when you start storing things poverty arises when i take 10 kgs or 20 kgs or surplus grain food grains and keep it inside my house there is a shortage of this much quantity for the other living being only in human beings you can see that things are stored kept with a selfish attitude and when this happens and which is happening today poverty arises so my dear friends let us give away everything we have let us all give away everything we have stored and find the difference how beautiful this world will be how wonderful we can be and then you start accepting you and then you will start accepting me as your brother rather than an indian i don't believe in community or jurisdiction i believe in oneness so my dear friends think about it thank you